Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron and this is the Genesis Models show 4th of December 2015. Now this week I was supposed to be working on the F15, um, however some of the products that I wanted to use for the weathering stage haven't arrived quite yet, so um, quick change of plans, I've basically started um, the the um, Hawk Hurricane and the Spitfire this week and then next week we'll go into um, F15 because it should have arrived by then. If not, I'll just use some other products instead. Um, but yeah, this week, um, Hurricane and Spitfire, we have entered into the spray stage and I'm trying something um, very, very different. I've gone quite experimental um, and I'm trying something completely and utterly new that I've never done before um, and haven't really seen people do before either. Um, but yeah, you're probably best just watching the episode, but basically it is... Uh, you can't, probably can't see it quite well here on camera, but you will in the episode where we go for a sort of a um, a post shading type modulation effect um, going on there, which at the moment is probably looking a little bit too sharp and maybe a bit too um, I don't know, maybe war gamey rather than actually um, a bit more realistic, which. Um, I've gone for with the Spitfire, which is what I normally do with the Spitfire with the post shade and everything. So it's going to be good to kind of see, you know, two very similar aircraft with, um, you know, basically identical sort of spray pattern going on on the underside. Apart from we're trying something a little bit new with our Hawker Hurricane here. So um, yeah, hopefully um, after I'm, I'm kind of hoping that after doing some weathering on this and the Declan and stuff that it will sort of blend things in a bit and maybe we might come up with something a little bit different there. So um, yeah, nice little episode we've got there for the Spitfire and Hawk Hurricane. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. Um, also this week I've got a uh, nice inbox for you. I know somebody requested um, this kit here by Airfix. So let's take a look at this. Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bobby Waldron and in this video we're going to be taking a look at um, Airfix's brand spanking new tool here for 2015 which is the 172nd scale Avro Shackleton MR2. Nice box art going on here and just around the sides and everything we do have uh, you know, a couple of pictures just showing you this sort of together. So let's open up and see what we get in the box. Now, uh, it's quite a big model for 172nd scale, um, and it's looking rather good. So let's just jump straight in with what I've got on top, which is the decals. Um, bringing you in on the decals, um, these decals do look rather, rather good. Um, we've got instrument display panels in here, as well as like map decals by the looks of it. Um, but they, they do look like they're printed by cartographer. I'm not seeing anywhere on the actual uh, sheet here stating it's cartographer, but that's what Airfix seems to do. They have cartographer decals now, but they don't actually print their name on the sheet. But yeah, they do look like them. They do look like they're going to be good. So fingers crossed they will be. Um, I do like them quite a lot. Um, we have, starting off, we've got um, the decal layout here, which, um, and also the paint color scheme. Um, hopefully as you can see here, you know, it is in color. The, Good quality paper. Um, we've got collates for the paints, um, and yeah, it looks quite good. And we've got two um, separate markings here. Um, the other one was what was it again? It was a an, an MR2 1967 uh, number 2224 uh, squadron, and we've got uh, uh, 204 squadron, and that was uh, 1972. So two nice markings going on there, nicely in colour. We've got a um, the stencil call out with all the, the little stencils, which is there is there is quite a few and there is a lot to put on the propellers as well. So they might um, do your nutting because there are so so many. Uh, moving along quickly with the instructions, let's just put this down here at the way. With the instructions, you know, good usual um, bit of a 
a call out a, a bit about the aircraft in different languages. Moving along, you know, Airfix, I've got this whole new system, a bit like Edard, of having things coloured in and where things go, which does help um, a lot. But yeah, you know, we've got, with this kit, obviously we're looking at um, quite a nice, good internal detail. Um, with all the sort of instruments in the back as well, um, as well as bomb bays and, and all these sort of things going on on the inside. So you really can go to town with this one if you wish um, on the inside. We've got all sorts of things going on here. I do like how you do get quite a few options um, with this kit as like you can put different sensors on and stuff as well as you can have your bomb bay doors open flaps up and down as you can see here um, where is it yeah we've got bomb bays different weapons torpedoes bombs all these sort of things that you can if you wish have open or closed on or not um, there are an absolute heap load of propellers with this one um, and with the decals going on there as well they could get a bit tedious uh, you've also got an option of having this um, um, sort of gun turret on the top as well or not so you know nice couple of options going on with the kit as well so let's grab a couple of sprues here Right then, first sprue we have here is, we've got a bit of surface detail with our uh, Bombay doors. Out as you can see here, we've got nice recessed panel lines, not seeing many rivets, but um, you know that is looking very sharp, very crisp, recessed panel line detail. We've got a load of little you know, bits and bobs here, probably for the bombs in there, and the torpedoes. Uh, we've got some sensors here that go on the underside of the belly. Um, here are our torpedoes. They are looking, you know, very well detailed. Um, good recessed panel lines and re some recessed rivets going on in there. You know, looking rather good. However, I mean, there are some ejector pin marks here and there on the inside of our bomb bay doors. So you might want to take care of them if you um, open up your bomb bays. We have uh, some little pieces here, you know, we've got some um, some seats here, you know, not bad detail actually, I mean this is 172nd scale remember, so you know, that isn't too bad at all. Um, we've got some ladders as well, which is a nice little extra to go with it. And we do have some pilots, if I just turn this around. These two pilots, I mean, they don't look too bad. Um, you know let's just say they're okay you know they're not bad for out the box um but yeah i mean looking at this it's not looking too bad you know very crisp we've got no um uh, flash going on with this kit which is what you would expect from a brand spanking new kit really um then we have some more detail going on here i think this is the um the bomb bay as you can see loads and loads of detail going on there a nice wash in there and that just that'll just bring that alive really really well that will um we've got some more detail just up here we've got some surface detail with like the tail section and stuff um again i do you know this is the thing i mean this goes for like all you know new airfix kits their recessed panel line detail is very good it's very crisp it's very sharp very consistent um, but it is a bit out of scale I mean these recessed panel lines as you can see they are rather big for 170 second scale and there isn't much in regards to um, rivet detail but you know it is as I say sharp consistent and, and, and very sort of neat on the inside we have um, some more detail going on here yes we do have eject pin marks but then at the same time, I mean, are you going to be able to see much inside here with just a couple of windows? So, um, yeah, it's kind of up to you if you want to go mad and scratch build the hell out of it, which I've seen a few people doing. They look fantastic. But again, you bring those two halves together and you can't see anything. Um, so next up, we've got some more screws just along here. Let's bring them in. Let's start with um, our wing section. To bring you in on the wing section now hopefully as you can see here we have again the same kind of detail going on which does look really really good i do like it um you know as i say it's a little bit out of scale but yeah very nice neat and tidy going on there with 
wing detail um, moving along got some more little pieces just here little bits of detail uh, you know some cockpit seats you know not bad for 170 second scale uh, moving along some more seats just here we turn this over and we um, as you can see I do believe these are like the flaps uh, you know no eject pin marks inside there which is rather good and the detail is looking good as well nice wash should bring that out lovely um, but yeah apart from that not bad not bad at all uh, we've got our engines here which again we've got good detail going on on the surface the surface detail side there are a few um, recessed rivets going on here we turn it over though we've got good detail going on inside the wheel wells but there are ejector pin marks in places which are going to be really really hard to actually get rid of so Mm, yeah that's a bit of a downer on the kit we've got um, the rest of our flap section here as you can see lovely detail going on so inside there no ejector pin marks that's just exactly what you want to see um, for things like this I do like that level of detail going on there the wheels you know we've got good tire treads as well going on just here so you know they've got some good detail to them moving along we've got some cockpit detail hopefully as you can see here all sorts of instrument display panels and everything for all sorts of sensors and stuff that i don't know what is it but you know looks good detail going on in there and i do believe there's some decals for them some more sort of instruments and stuff going on there um possibly another wheel well or something there not quite sure we've got landing gear as well um just here which and there's no eject pin marks on them either so that's good we've got all these propellers as well there's loads loads of propellers that we need to paint up and decal and everything so they're not looking too bad i think these are wheel well doors as well no eject pin marks inside there um so yeah looking good and then we've got the last two sprues here again we've got the bottom side of our um, wing section which I do believe um, looking at the instructions it's going to be the same as um, what was it the, the Lancaster where hopefully um, you can basically spray decal and finish the whole model with the wing section separate to the fuselage section and fingers crossed they slot in and hopefully they'll fit perfect enough that you can sort of take them off keep them on um, so as you're spraying you haven't got this big model sort of on your desk so hopefully it'll work that way it looks like it will but don't hold me to it so that's the um, wing section then we come to our um, clear parts which aren't too bad I mean you look at some of them and they do look crystal clear absolutely um, beautiful really some of them but then I mean you look at say uh, I don't think you're gonna pick this up on camera but with this one I mean in some lights it looks a bit on the rough side um, it feels smooth smooth as hell but um, yeah I was looking at it in a different light earlier and it did have a bit of a roughness to it uh, I'm just not picking that up actually now in this kind of light but um, I did see that earlier on but you know it's it'll it'll be fine we've got no cracks or nasty sort of um, cobweb effects so should be good um, all in all looks like an absolutely fantastic kit i mean i think it was around about the 35 pound mark so um not very expensive either for what is quite a lot of plastic um quite a big model um and it looks like it's going to be good looking um personally i would probably whack a load of rivets all over it just to liven up that surface detail but apart from that looks like an absolutely cracking kit by airfix so um hopefully you enjoyed this um inbox review so until next time my name is bobby waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed so that was the shackleton hopefully you enjoyed that now on the forum we've got the um carrier based aircraft group built coming to an end remember which will be oh, i think it was like the first of january it comes to 
an end or the 30th of December it comes to an end um, so you haven't got long to get it finished I have seen that a lot of you are starting to finish them now looking fantastic a um, lot of sort of finishing going on there um, I've got all the competition prizes ready so I'll probably announce that um, when we get back from Christmas and New Year because I'll be off like a week somewhere there I haven't quite decided yet um, but yeah sometime the beginning of January be announcing the competition winners for that after judging it um, as well as very shortly after that um, be announcing what's going to be the new um, group belt here at Genesis Models which you guys have been making um, your suggestions on the forum so if you don't know already on the forum we've I've opened up the um, proposal section for you guys to go off and make your proposals of what you want to be the next group build and to vote on them um, for if you want to enter it and build them so you know take a look at that and get your votes in or your proposals in there um, also I've had um, got delivered this week is the encyclopedia and this is part three of Mig Jimenez's um, encyclopedia of like modeling techniques and this issue is all about painting so let's have a little quick look at this so here is the uh, encyclopedia modeling techniques and this is part three painting so just a quick look through um, there is so much information here on it is basically goes through um, different ways of doing um, painting and it's not just like spray painting I mean we've got all sorts of things going on here you know we've got base coats uh, monotones uh, multi-tone um, camouflage schemes chipping camouflage um, we've got wood effects insignias um, stencils shadowing with inks and everything loads and loads of cool stuff in here picture the the paper quality is really really good we've got a nice satin good quality paper and you know it really does go through lots of different steps of painting um, not only that we've got lots of different models it's not just going on one model and showing you how to do it um, you know we've got lots of different models showing you these different techniques you know keeping things very interesting um, and, and it just yeah there's just so much talented work in here now you know there's a lot of stuff in this book I mean there is um, all together let's just have a quick look we have um, 199 pages or maybe 200 um, you know, and it, yeah, it is just absolutely packed with so many um, fantastic techniques, really sort of showing you stuff. Um, and it really is something that, uh, you know, even I'm sort of learning stuff out of fear, which then I can teach you in video format. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I do like it. So, yeah, this is definitely a well recommended buy, definitely. For those of you who are, you know, intermediate, advanced, for a beginner, this is possibly a bit too much to take on board um, as a beginner. But yeah, definitely as an intermediate, advanced, this really does um, cover um, pr pretty much everything in regards to um, spraying and everything. So yeah, definitely well recommended. So that's that, and uh, it, with it being December, it is Christmas month, so we're probably thinking of what sort of kits we're going to be wanting for Christmas. So here's a kit release news to um, let you know what has been released recently um, for your purchases for Christmas presents. So to start off kit release news this week, we have uh, Italiers. Dazzelt Mirage 3C 132nd scale at £89.99. Hazago has released their uh, Fucker Wolf 190A5 U7 132nd scale and that costs £54.99. Uh, Kitty Hawk Models releases their Bell P39 QN Acrobat uh, 132nd scale and that is £53.99. We have Wing Wing with their 132nd scale AEG G4 late at £239. We have Eddard with their 148th scale Gloucester Gladiator Mark 1 for £27.80. We have Kinetic Models kits uh, with the 
BAEC Harrier FRS1, 148 scale at £29.99. There's the Douglas EKA 3B Sky Warrior by Trumpeter, 148 scale, and that is at £59.99. Airfix release there BAC EE Lightning F1, and that is 148 scale at £29.99. Now, uh, the Panava Tornado GR4 by Ravel was released 148 scale at £26.99. However, due to a manufacturing fault, um, some of the parts for the GR4 version uh, wasn't in the kit. So, uh, we'll have to wait out to see on that because I've been waiting that for that for a long time. Um, next up, we have a Sabre which is by Eddard and that is 148 scale at £49 pounds 99 we have yet again another supermarine spitfire by eddard uh, and that is the mark 8 uh, and that is at 16 pounds 71 40 8 scale. We also have by Eddard the uh, Fokker Wolf 190A8, but this is the Royal Class Edition, so you, I do believe you get four kits in there, um, a heap load of markings and all sorts of stuff in there. That is at £55.70. We have by Ravel 172nd scale the BAE Hawk T1 Red Arrows, and that is a new tool there at a little as £7.99. We have a SU-33 Flanker D by Trumpeter, 172nd scale. That's supposed to be a nice new tool, and that is at £25.99. We have some armour with a Leopard 1 by Ravel at um, £26.99, 135th scale. We have the 135th scale PLA Type 62 light tank, also by a trumpeter, and that is at £39.99. We have another release by a trumpeter, which is the M901 launching system, uh, 135th scale at um, £79.99. Got some figures from Dragon here, which is the US Tank Crew Gulf War era, 135th scale at £10.99. We got some Africa Corps Infantry at £10.49, also 135th scale. We got some Frozen Battleground German World War II Soldiers, Moscow, uh, 1941, 135th scale at £6.25. And last up, we've got a ourselves a Soviet submarine project 673 uh, by Micro Micromir uh, 1 in 350 scale and that is only £13.80 so that is it from our kit release news. So there's kit release news for this week. Um, now we come to competitions, which, um, if you remember, November's competition was for the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1, 148 scale by Airfix. Now, after doing a random number generation program and running down the thread, I came to um, Bish459. So congratulations to you, Bish459. You are November's Genesis Models competition winner. So I'll give you an email, get your mailing address, and ship that out to you free of charge. So congratulations. Now, um, obviously, if you didn't win it, you're going to have another chance to win it. Now, um, this month's competition for December, because it's Christmas, um, we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit more special. Um, now, uh, Christmas is... Um, on Friday, Friday the 25th. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Genesis Models Christmas special for that Friday. Uh, I'm going to like film that in advance because I'll probably be most likely off on Christmas Day. So um, I'll have it uploaded and have it scheduled to be released on um, Christmas Day. So you can watch a special Christmas, the Genesis Models Christmas episode on Christmas Day, uh, as well as I'll be announcing the competition winners for the December competition, which is going to be for, um, as you've already just seen a inbox review of this kit, this is going to be one of the uh, competition prizes. Um, so I'll do, as usual, random number generation program and count down the thread 
and you know if you win you win however i wanted to sort of throw in a load more so i've got a nice bunch of little um, prizes here to give out more prizes so first off we have um u.s army special forces by dragon 135th scale we have the u.s first infantry division by dragon 135th scale uh, here we have 172nd scale Hawk Hurricane Mark 1 by Airfix. We have the Mitsubishi A6M2B0 172nd scale also by Airfix. Another one at Airfix here 172nd scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark 22. The Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1 a 172nd scale by Airfix. And we've also got a Supermarine Spitfire um, PRX. Oh, what's that? Hold on. Add that up. Is that 21? I think. Yes. Uh, Spitfire Mark 21, uh, 172nd scale by Airfix. So um, basically, these are all individual prizes. And uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus that one down there, eight. So there's eight chances to win something on Christmas Day. As I said, I'll do the random number, gen right there, random number generation program as I did with our Hawk Hurricane Mark 1 there. And then I'll email you all, um, probably not on Christmas Day, maybe, um, probably Boxing Day or day after Boxing Day because I might be still drunk. Um, yeah, and get your mailing address. And then I'll ship these out to you all free of charts so hopefully you'll be um, looking for that um, Christmas special on Christmas Day now sadly we're coming to the end of the show so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis models and paint your f models <laughs>